Hey guys, so I'm filming a few videos in one day because when I do my makeup, I'm like, I might as well make the most of it because I'm not leaving my house. And if I don't leave my house, then I'm just wasting this by sitting around. And I think this is very pretty, if I may say so myself. This is the Kaleidos Escape Pod palette, which I recently got in PR because they sent me the new collection, the Fresh Fantasy, and then they asked me if I wanted some older stuff. And I said, I really want the Escape Pod palette. And this is what it looks like. I think this shade is pretty much a duplicate of the uh, Fresh Fantasy shade, the bluish one. And then this one's a bit different, but yeah, I like these purpley, pastel -y vibes. Social media, main channel in description and any other links, any anything else that you might wanna find is also in there. But now let's get to the anti-haul, which is the fun stuff, me being negative. Let me just move over to the side because I always forget and then it's like on my face or I have to keep on for 10 seconds and then you guys are like, please keep on for the whole time, please. I'm like, I tried but I forgot to move over. I don't know if I spoke about this in my last anti-haul. I feel like I always lose track of like what I have covered and what I haven't. So if I have covered this, I'm sorry. But this is the Lil Ray of Sunshine Colourpop collection, which comes with like two face oils. No, a face oil, a like body oil, an all matte eyeshadow palette, two lip glosses, two super shock shadows, two eyeliners that kind of a vibe. So now from this, I don't want the eyeshadow palette because I don't like all matte eyeshadow palettes and I don't like all shimmer eyeshadow palettes. I like a nice mix because I like to use one palette for one thing. I like the super shock shadows, but I like them more in palettes because uh, I feel like I, once again, I don't use many single shadows. And the high glosses, I have a lot of lip glosses. I like the eyeliners. I want to try their colorful eyeliners. And I think that yellow and that brown is very pretty. But as a whole, this collection was just kind of like a it looks nice, but it's not for me, kind of a collection. So then we have Menagerie Cosmetics, Arthurine meaning bear, 54 or singles 10 each, including nine fun and versatile artistry blush shades that can easily be shared out or built up to your desire. Is this an eyeshadow palette or is this a blush palette? Blush shades, are these blushes? Oh yeah, hashtag blush palette. I thought this was an eyeshadow palette. I'm not interested one bit. I wasn't even interested when it was an eyeshadow palette, but I'm not interested if it's a blush palette either because I feel like I won't use some of these shades and also I like singles. See, this is completely different from my eyeshadow situation. I like singles. I don't like palettes for faces unless it's like a whole face of makeup, aka the hourglass ones kind of get a pass from me. I like duos sometimes. I might accept a trio if it's like a good day. Some quads are nice, but some of them are pushing it if they're like too big. I don't know, this is a lot of blush to get through. I wonder, I wonder what the sizes of these are, like the size of the pans, because then that that palette would be huge as well. I think the shades are very pretty though. I like the, I like the whole bottom row. I like the look of the yellow. I just don't think I would use it personally because I think it would make me look sick. There's some darker ones that I definitely wouldn't use, um, which is why I'm not getting it. Because like I said in my products I don't buy anymore, I don't buy products that I can only partly use. Then the Mulan, Colourpop collection is back in stock apparently and for some reason I'm not interested. I don't know what it was about it. I just think um the the blushes are way too light. Even for me. Like can you um imagine me saying that kind of a sentence? I just think what who would those blushes work on other than people like me? And even then I like a blush. I like a blushy look. And for example that lighter one, like who is that for? That looks like a pressed powder, if you ask me. And then the palette, I feel like I have those shades ten times over, and because I have those shades and it's also not a nine pan palette, I don't want it. But I've heard some great things about that eyeshadow palette. I'm pretty sure I've heard people say that was one of their favorite ColourPop palettes. So if this speaks your name, please get it, because apparently it's good. These came out, which is these Melt Blush Highlighter Type Duo products, duos type of thing. And I wanted that pink one, you know, the light, light one, and then it was immediately out of stock. So I'm just gonna wait for it to come back in stock and then I'll get it, which was, you know, not ideal, but I'll, I'll get over it. I'll be fine. Thank you guys for asking. Then Glow Recipe came out with the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which I know I spoke about in my last anti-haul. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it or not. I think I was leaning more towards the side of yes, because as you guys know, these are anti-hauls, but I will slip in a few products that I do want. Like some people do like a, is this going on a wish list or not? I think a few people are doing that. And then Smoky Glow does one like that where I think it's called a Yasa Pass. I love watching those. Uh, but with me, there are not enough products that I'm actually willing to buy for me to like contribute that to the title. So I just keep it an anti-haul plus a few things that I might actually buy. This I actually bought. It looks like this. Very cute. This is my new hydrating serum that I'm focusing on and I like it so far. I, I, I mean, it's a hydrating serum. I don't know what you guys want me to say. It's nice. Does it have a scent? Because I don't remember it having a scent. Very soft, very soft scent. I mean, what does it feel like? Oh yeah, it's got like a slight plum scent. Like if you just cut open a plum and smelt it. 
I guess you could say. This feels very nice. It feels not too thick, not too slimy, but it feels like it's actually making a difference to my life. So I just wanted to add this on here to tell you guys that I did end up buying it. Thanks for the concern once again. Too Faced is coming out with a bunch of products. Like I'm gonna sprinkle them in throughout this whole video so that we don't have a whole 10 minute segment of Too Faced products, but they're coming out with this pumpkin palette, pumpkin spice. I feel like I've seen this before from Too Faced. Have I not seen this before? I feel like I have. And then the Melted Matte Lipstick. I think the palette is $49 and the lipstick is $22 and they're available now. Cover FX is coming out with soft matte liquid lipsticks that are supposed to go with the blushes, the duo blushes that it came out with. So I have Pink Dahlia, which is, I'm assuming bottom left or maybe top right or maybe the middle one. I'm actually not sure which one it is, but this is what it looks like. It could be any of them really. Definitely not my favourite formula of blushes, so I just don't feel like I would get a whole lipstick to go with it. Plus I'm kind of over liquid lipsticks. I really am. I don't know why, it's just I feel like I have so many of them that at this point, will, will another one be different? Will it add anything valuable to my life? Will it pay my taxes? Will it, you know, do the dishes? I don't know, I don't think so and I don't need it. Shantakai is coming out with this eye trio, which let me just tell you guys, it's $75. And then those lipsticks, I'm actually not sure how much those are, uh, but I'm assuming they're extortionate. Now, I've wanted to try Shantakai for a while because everyone is like, oh my god, Shantakai, best thing to grace planet Earth, is the best thing to happen to a human being, and I just don't believe it. But I want to try it. You know, I want to test this hypothesis that I have that these products are not worth the price tag that they are charging. I do know, however, that Shantakai tends to donate money towards animals that they put on the packaging. I think that's like the whole thing with them. However, I refuse to pay $75 for an eye trio of pink, champagne, and champagne. You're gonna have to do a little bit more Shantakai to get me to spend $75 on three eyeshadows. Tower 28 Beauty, which I'm not sure what it is. I've never heard of that brand before, but they're coming out with four new colors of their non-sticky moisturizing gloss for soft, shiny lips. It's semi-sheer and they're $14. So they're called Milky Lip Jelly. These look interesting. I wanna know if this brand is cruelty free first of all, before I get it. Also, do I need this? Absolutely not, but some of these shades look very pretty. I mean, it feels like it would be a good vibe, a good addition to the collection, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think, I don't think this is something I need. And if I can't find it in like a convenient location for me to purchase from, then I refuse to do it. That's the motto for today. This is the Kaleidos Fresh Fantasy Collection. And I actually got all of this in PR, which I was super grateful for. I love those two eyeshadow palettes. They're incredible. That purple palette is so good. And that's what I was talking about. See this like bluey inner corner bit that I did. It looks exactly the same as that second from the top shade. I've tried them both in my eyes now. They look the same. I don't know if it's the same eyeshadow but it looks the same, but they're very stunning. And then that nude palette, like the neutral palette, it's got this beautiful, like almost a neon pink shift. There's a fly in my room. Shade in it where it goes from like nudie to like pretty much hot pink. Like it's very, but subtle, but it's also not subtle at the same time. I've never tried the formula before and I genuinely really like it. I think it's one of like my favorite eyeshadow formulas as of right now. And I'm just looking forward to finding out what else they figure out with color schemes. Cause their color schemes are always very pretty and very like, just well done. Bite came out with plumping lip glosses. I know they're cruelty free because I think they're also vegan. I think that was like the whole bite things that you can like eat the products. They're $25 each, but they're cinnamon flavored. And I just don't know how I feel about it. Cause it's like, I'm actually not a huge fan of cinnamon. I'm sorry, I'm just not. And is the cinnamon the bit that's supposed to plump your lips. Cinnamon oil for antioxidant. Oh, it's an antioxidant rich cinnamon oil. I don't know. I love these though. I love the look of these. That second from the right, very pretty. The clear sparkly one, the pink one, and the pink one after that. They have me tempted. They really do have me tempted. And I'm ashamed to admit that. YSL is coming out with this holiday collection and it's called the Dress Me Wild Holiday Collection. It's got like animal print all over it. You get it, Dress Me Wild, Wild. Yay. They're coming out with a face and eye palette, which it is the, the blandest thing I have ever seen. They're also coming out with a cushion compact, which only comes in one shade, I believe, because otherwise they would have probably specified other shades, but they haven't. There's a Touche Eclat radiant thing. I don't know what they're talking about here. And there's a Pure Couture lipstick and a Shine lipstick. So I wonder if there is more to this than that one shade of that compact, but if there isn't, then you know my answer right now. I'm pretty sure I spoke about this. Naked Tutorials came out with a palette of Beauty Bay, which they will be restocking sometime soon. And I think that will be the last restock they do, I'm pretty sure. And I got that palette. I think it's beautiful. I did a whole first impressions with that palette. And I think it the formula is really good for the price. I think that whole palette was 25 pounds, something along there. 
which you get a bunch of sheets. You get 20 sheets for for that, which is incredible. The shimmers are two by four. That pink pride shade. That's what dreams are made of. I want to try more of those shades. I want to play around more. I did a pinky look because as you guys know, pink, you know, it's a, it's a thing I like. But I want to play more with the blues and, and that turquoise shade as well. Um, and that blue shimmer. I think it's a beautiful palette. And I think I, it's just well done. And it's one of probably the best influencer eyeshadow collabs I've seen probably ever. Urban Decay is coming out with a stoned vibes palette. A stoned vibes collection. I am just, I've seen a few people say that they're pleasantly surprised after trying this out because most... YouTubers got this in PR, I didn't, so I'm not gonna try it. But they're all pleasantly surprised, so if you guys were kind of on the edge of picking, then you might really like this, and you might consider getting it. With me, I am just not into a palette where there's four matte shades and the rest are just completely like random shimmer shades. I don't know, I'm just not into this whole aesthetic. I just feel so bad for Urban Decay because I feel like they had the grip on like what is trendy with makeup for a while and they just kind of got lost somewhere in translation i don't know where it went but something happening in the background i'm so sorry for that there's clearly some construction happening luna beauty has now restocked the blush palette which i was so tempted to get and then it also got restocked on beauty bay and i had in my cart and then i realized i don't want it i know i know guys i don't want it because like i said i don't like blush palettes i don't know why i wanted to get it because i don't like blush palettes and actually i'm not a big fan of matte blushes and i think most of these are matte Anyway, uh, they're also restocking the three glosses. I have Starlight and it's the one I have on my lips right now. It's beautiful, it's oily. It's less goopy and glossy, more just oil and vibes. That's, that's what there is to it. And I really like them. So if you guys wanna pick up the glosses, they taste wonderful as well. Then Soul, which is ColourPop's like body range, is coming out with body makeup, which absolutely not. Not happening, never. I have this thing where if I do my makeup, I have to go immediately wash my hands because any remnants of makeup on my hands just make me sick. I can't do it, sorry. I'm never gonna put makeup on my body. If you do, I applaud you and I'm jealous of you. The strength that you are showing is impeccable. It's incredible, but I will not do it. <laughs> like, not doing it. KKW is doing that BFF collection. I just wanna show you guys it again to make sure that you know how bland this is. I'm sorry, Kim, but like, this is bland. I don't know what happened. I don't know where, when, how, but this is not what we needed. Peach and Lily's coming out with a glass skin veil spray and I'm tempted. I wonder if this is cruelty free and I wonder if I can get it in the UK and if I can, then I'll probably get it. And if I can't, then I will not. That's the tea. Lime Crime is coming out with four mascaras. There's green, blue, purple, and black. And now what I've realized is, oh, they're $20 each. And what I've realized is I, I'm always tempted by colorful mascaras. It's like Colourpop had a few. And I might consider getting the ColourPop ones when they come back in stock because they're a lot more affordable than this. Uh, but I just don't see myself spending $20 on a purple mascara and using it to its fullest capacity. Do you know what I mean? Like if it was less than $10, maybe. But $20 on a mascara that I might use once or twice during the three months that I'm supposed to keep it. It's kind of not a good deal for me. Colourpop came out with this Candyland collection. I did get two of the three blushes that they have, the Super Shock blushes. They're my first Super Shock blushes ever. And they have now become my favorite blush formula. I'm wearing it today. It doesn't look like powder, but it gives me that blushy feeling. I didn't realize they had the third one because I'm an idiot. I bought the two on that 25% sale, which is the like nudie one and then the berry one. And I forgot about the orange one. So I'll get it next time because I love these. They also have that like candy smell, which it smells like my childhood for some reason. It smells like, I don't know, just some kind of a, some kind of a something. But this is what they look like. This is that pinky one. And then this is that like, berry toned one this is the vibes and then they have that like orange one which i'm definitely getting next time i'm placing an order on colourpop because these are great they're nine dollars each and i think they're a great deal i heard you're supposed to close these pretty tight or they'll dry out and i don't want that to happen so those are the only products i got from that collection dragon beauty is coming out with another color corrector i'm just not interested next red beauty came out and it doesn't deliver to anywhere but america so i couldn't get it thanks for coming to my ted talk I really wanted to try this out for a video and I was not sent PR and I also could not get it, which is what happens to people in the UK. We just don't get the same courtesy when it comes to products. Most products either get here like a month after America, which at that point everyone's like, that product, yeah, we don't know her anymore. We don't use her anymore. Sorry, you're kind of late to the party or uh, it just never comes really. Oh, also with the Urban Decay palette stoned collection, there was a small palette, which I was actually more tempted by because I like that pink pink, but then I don't need Optimus. I don't see how I would use Energy with that look. I don't see how I would use Seeker with that look. And I don't really like the look of Eclipse. So the only thing I really like is Radiate and Attraction. 
that's it. So I just don't see the point of getting it, even though it's a beautiful little six pan. And also the packaging looks a little bit cheap, or is that just me? Natasha Denona came out with a glam palette, which is supposed to be like the cool tone sister of the golden one that they came out with and i was so tempted by this i added it to my like cart like the wish list on cult beauty that they have and then i realized that a lot of these shades look oddly similar to each other and they'd probably look very similar on the eyes so it's like i just felt like i didn't have any cool toned eyeshadows i kind of wanted like a very basic cool toned eyeshadow palette to fulfill my cool toned needs and this was not going to be it it's got five mattes and then the rest are shimmery like 10 10 shimmery shadows that all look pretty much identical. So instead what I decided to do is when I was doing my 25% order on Colourpop, I got the Coconuts, the Going Coconuts palette, which looks like this. It's it's cool toned, it does the cool toned thing. It looks pretty cool toned on the eye, but it doesn't have many repeat shades. It's got that light white, I guess, shimmery shade, and it's got like a very taupey shimmery shade, and it's got like a bronzy shimmery shade. And then it's got a darker one, lighter, slightly lighter, slightly lighter, lighter, and then light. And that's really all you need for a cool toned look. I just don't see myself needing 15 shades when I can have nine for much, much less money. And then just in case I needed a cool toned pink to go along with that, because there is a pink shimmery vibe going on there. I have the uh, Making Moves palette, which is just this one. And it's also got the cool toned vibes and both of these together were nowhere near the price of that one. So those were some smart money decisions from Angelica. So, you know, that's just why I recommend. Always try to find a dupe if you can find a dupe. And if you can find a dupe in your own collection, you are everything I want to be in life. Then there is this Pharmacy Beauty Honey Halo. Intense moisturizer to replenish dry, distressed skin with lasting hydration to help visibly plump skin and improve the look of fine lines for normal to dry skin, $45. I am tempted because it's giving me that like... I don't know, lux luxury, but also natural vibes. I wonder if this is cruelty free and I wonder if I can get it in the UK. And if I can, then you will see this join my collection sometime soon. Then a uh, youth to the people. I wonder, I wanna know if they're cruelty free because I have heard Hiram talk about them a lot. And this is the Dream Eye Cream Smooth Hydrate Firm. I don't really need a new eye cream, so I'm probably not gonna get this, but I wanna try the rest of their collection. And if, you know, they're cruelty free, then I'll actually try a few things. Then we have the Milk Setting Spray. And what I wanted to say about this was, Last time I put it into an anti hole type video and since then it has come out, but like I mentioned, it's still not in the UK. So you guys are getting it in America and we're just waiting. I was gonna get this and then I feel like by the time I get it, I'm just gonna be bored. Um, Morphe's coming out with these metallic eyeshadow trios. So you can only get them in a three and they're $15 each. Is that for a trio or each? Cause it says trios. So I'm seeing that's $15 for a trio. I'm not interested. I've never been interested in liquid eyeshadows. Like I've mentioned this before. I think some of them, ow. I think they look beautiful in swatches and you can't deny that, but then, you know, you look at it and you get sucked in by the swatch and then you end up not using them and then they dry out. Jouer is coming out with these blush, like cream duo stuff and you can use them on your lips as well, apparently. They're multi-use creamy duos featuring clean, vegan, cruelty-free ingredients like plant-derived squalene oil and rosehip oil. They're $32 each and there's they're double-sided basically. And I've had this before with Jouer before where I looked at the product and I was like, absolutely not. I don't like the way it looks, it looks boring. And then I look at the swatches and the swatches from Jouer always look so good. Like that middle celebrate shade. I'm debating, I am debating. I have a lot of cream blush. I have more cream blush than I will probably ever use. So um, I'm thinking, I'm <laughs> thinking hard. Dior is coming out with some Christmas stuff. I hate that super like high-end luxury makeup still puts those weird brushes into their makeup which takes up like half the compact why would you do that no one uses those unless someone uses them please let me know if you use those brushes and then i'll stop talking also what i find is i'm going to show you some other dior products as well and it'll be more apparent when we get to those i find dior makeup to look very cheap i don't know if that's just me i find their products most of the time don't look like they are worth the price that they are trying to charge for it. And it's not as, as apparent with these as it is with some other products I'll show you guys. For example, that compact, the like uh, leather looking one is very beautiful and I would get it purely for the packaging if, if I could be asked. But the rest just kind of looks a little bit cheapy. KVD Vegan Beauty is coming out with this palette and 
there's something happening here and I'm just not okay with it. There's just a lot of shades, but there's really not a lot of shades at the same time. It's kind of like, it all just kind of blends together into one nothingness. I don't know, the mattes are very bland. Even though the shimmers are kind of punchy, what are you gonna use the shimmers with when the mattes are so bland? Then Too Faced is coming out with this for Christmas. Apparently the formula in the cardboard packaging is worse than the one in the metal tins, but I don't know because I haven't tried enough Too Faced makeup to be the judge of that. I'm just not interested. Pat McGrath came out with this set for $75. It's limited edition. It includes glitters, three different red crystals, an applicator, duo glue, and a mini matte lipstick, mini, mini, small lipstick for $75. I'll just swiftly skip by. Then Ma, who is a YouTuber on YouTube, she does like beauty videos. It's coming out with the Too Faced palette. And what I wanted to say is, I think this palette looks pretty cute. I think it's just like an average reds, pinks palette. However, what I find is I never buy palettes where the background is too close in tones to the eyeshadows. Cause I feel like to me, it confuses me. Is that just me? Like this palette confuses me because the background is too close. It's too close and then I can't focus. It's the reason why I don't like the Mulan one because the background is so dark, it confuses me as to what the shades are. It can be in the same tones as the eyeshadows inside, but I want it to be a little bit lighter so the shadows pop more. I don't know, I just, it, that's my gripe with it. These two, I used them in the first impressions I did, I believe with the Kaleidos collection and I love them. I love Hourglass face palettes. They're great, they're amazing, but they're expensive. This is what they look like. They come in like geometric type golden packaging. This four is the same as a six they did two years ago, I'm pretty sure. So they took out one blush and they took out one powder, but this is the same as I believe two years ago, but I didn't get the one two years ago, so I got the one now. It's very beautiful. My favorite highlights from Hourglass that I've tried so far is the one in this palette, which is just super like punchy and it just is beautiful. It's much better than the ones in the six pans. I don't know if that's kind of consistent across the board, but so far I've had two six pans, one four pan, and the highlight in the four pan is better than the highlight in the six pans. Because this is what the highlight looks like here. You can barely distinguish it from the powders. And if you try it on the hand, it's definitely like more matte looking if that makes sense. Like it's got less of that punchiness to it. And it's the same thing with the um, last year's. This one is beaten up. It's the same thing with this one where it just looks kind of matte when you apply it to the, to the hand. Anyway, I love these palettes a lot. They're kind of like an easy way to stock up on hourglass products without spending the hourglass money. Even though these are still expensive, not as expensive as it would be if you were buying singles. And how often do you get through a blush? Not very often, mainly if you have a collection the size of mine, you just don't get through blushes. Then we have Kimchi coming out with a Candy Lips lip mask, which I'm kind of intrigued by. It's $12. They do sell this on Beauty Bay and it says it's cruelty free. So I was looking for a lip mask because I like it for nighttime. I want to put a lip mask on. I just want to be fully hydrated with all of my like sleeping mask, lip mask, everything. I just want to, you know, sleep hydrated. And I'm kind of interested. Uh, it says candy, so it could smell really pretty. And I'm kind of intrigued. Fenty's coming out with two new matte lipsticks like the liquid lipsticks and like i said i'm not interested in liquid lipsticks anymore but if you are those are the two new shades coming out pat mcgrath is coming out with like these trios of lip balm lip liner and lipstick and i feel like i have that shade 10 times over so i don't need it but this looks very pretty morphe's coming out with new tinted brow gels happy glaze lip glosses gleam catcher illuminators lip balms and polish lip scrub and i mean i'm kind of interested but also there's nothing there that i'm like I need it right now, it's an emergency. Like maybe if I run out of all my brow gels, I'll go and try this one out because it's kind of more affordable. I don't need any more lip glosses unless they like really catch my eye. I don't need any illuminators, that kind of a thing. So I just feel like this is like nice, but also I don't need it right now. Glam Night came out with this palette and usually I'm not into Glam Night palettes because they're very bulky and big. And this one seems a little bit less bulky. It's still big, which is why I'm saying probably no. I wish the two top rows were out, right? And then it was just that pastel fantasy at the bottom. Or even like get rid of that like side row, the right row and just keep it as like the blues and the pinks and the purples. <gasps> That'd be so stunning. Just like the four by four. Wow, incredible. They're also coming out with lip trio. So there's this one and then there's this one. I like the chocolatey one. I think the packaging is also really cute. It looks like a ice cream on a stick and I, oh, I really like it. More than the pink. I, I don't think the pink is me. But that brownie, very beautiful. But also I think that's a liquid lipstick. So 
you know, I'll have to pass. Then Becca's coming out with this collection with Barbie Ferreira who played in Euphoria. And I know from here it looks kind of boring, but that weird like diagonal door thing, the swatches of that look amazing. Like I like Becca highlighters. I've had one and then I gave it to my mom because I bought other highlighters. And then I kind of missed that highlight, but I liked other highlights. And I kind of want to get that. I feel like you get more variety in that palette. Um, there's different shades. I just don't know if they would all work on my skin tone, which I'm kind of concerned by. So I'll think about it i think then there's this which i believe is a youtuber collab i'll try to figure out who it is because i cut out the trend mood thing because i'm an idiot but i'll figure out who this is this is like an essentials palette and it's good for i, I guess beginners it's with sigma the thing is i have a bunch of makeup and i have all of that but if you are like very new to makeup and just starting out this could be a very good palette to have like face product a few eyeshadows that you kind of might need. There's a black, there's a brown, there's an orange, there's some white shades. I feel like there's just everything in one palette that you might need. It's very good for just people starting out, but I don't need it because I feel like I have this a bunch of times over. Sunday Riley is coming out with pink drink essence and I don't have an essence and I kind of want an essence. So I'll consider this. Madison Beer is coming out with a collection with Morphe and it looks kind of boring, but it kind of looks like makeup that Madison Beer wears. It's more like natural looking makeup and Morphe ditched the whole like circle pan thing which is weird because the whole line is circle pans and then this one collection is square pan. I don't know why but it is. <laughs> Just not interested in this. Then there's the Chanel collection for Christmas. I then oh my god okay huda is coming out with these small palettes i have the nude obsessions ones in the light medium and dark i like them and then there's these ones now the sand haze looks very similar to the light nude obsessions palette and then the purple haze looks like the light nude palette as well but kind of with a mix of the medium one and i'm kind of interested in the haze but then i saw someone do a review of it and it just kind of wasn't my thing and i have like other green type khaki palettes that I like more. I have my Gemini palette and then I just have like a Kaleidos one that I got recently that I still need to try. So I just feel like I don't need this. But it was fun dreaming about buying this, but I'm probably not gonna get it. If I was to get it, I would probably end up either buying the sand one or the purple one, but I feel like I also don't need it. Then um, fourth ray beauty is coming out with the pineapple. I think this is already out because I saw it on the website. I'm so tempted by fourth ray skincare, but I just don't know where to start. They have so many different serums and I'm like, if I, have, if I was to read through every single product and what they offer, I would be there all day. So I want to know, have you guys tried any of the serums or any of the face milks or any of the fun stuff? Do they all basically do the same thing and then you just pick whatever scent you like? Is that kind of the vibe or do they actually do different things? I want to know. Charlotte Tilbury's coming out with this palette. I believe it's for Christmas and this is completely not my vibe. I think it's very pretty. It's got like the pinks. It's got the like different, I guess, trios. I just don't think this is probably going to be really expensive. So I don't know if I would buy it. Revolution is coming out with a Friends collection and I never watched Friends. Let me just put that out there. I never watched Friends. So I'm not interested in this whatsoever. There's like no nostalgia there for me and also the makeup just doesn't like warrant me buying it and also I heard that revolution quality is kind of hit or miss so I'll pass on that. Colourpop's coming out with a coast or they already came out with a coast to coral collection it's got a highlight another no it's got a blush a highlight a body oil a face milk two glosses two pot eyeshadows two eyeliners this whole collection is beautiful I'm so tempted by the super shock highlighter because I love the highlighters the other super shock formula it's what i'm wearing on my face today and it's incredible what it does um, and how it looks i'm tempted by the eyeshadow palette but more so i'm just tempted by that highlight so if i manage to get it i manage to get it i also really want the eyeliners but the thing is they only come in sets with the pot shadows which is weird mark jacobs is coming out with this collection which i love the packaging i'm not so tempted by what's inside of the packaging so am i going to get it just for the packaging no if i was to get something it would probably be either the lipstick or the highlight because I feel like that's kind of the more more like like I'm probably going to use this sometimes. Tarte's coming out with a bunch of bundles so if you guys feel like buying anything from this go for it but I just I'm not tempted at all. BH Cosmetics coming out with this Halloween collection which not many companies actually come out with Halloween collections which it's kind of a missed opportunity I think but these are pretty cool. I just don't know if I would get them because I feel like I have these shades somewhere and they just don't really scream my name but if they scream your name then just do it. Victoria Beckham is coming out with lipsticks. I'm not, I can't be asked. This is another Too Faced thing that's coming out. There's gingerbread spice, salted caramel. 
There's some lipsticks, there's some lip glosses, there's the cinnamon bear. It's just a bunch of things. This is the Dior packaging that I was talking about. This is like the packaging that the blushes come in and then this is like highlights. I think they look so cheap. It's literally just plastic, like that clear wet and wild looking plastic. And I just don't think it's worth the price tag. Like an MUA, I think she makes like a bunch of amazing TikToks that always happen to be on my For You page. She just started a makeup line called Cash Beauty. I can never pronounce her name. I think she's Irish or Welsh, which is why the name is spelt kind of differently. But I'll try to find it and put it on screen who she is and she's coming out with cash beauty there's an eyeshadow palette there's some lashes there's some lipsticks i think this could be interesting i want to see some reviews coming out i want to see you know what the formula's like but it's a big step to not do a collaboration but just go straight to doing your own makeup line i think it's it's amazing fenty's coming out with a diamond bomb you guys know i like the diamond bomb i mean i don't know if you know because i've mentioned it like a while ago but this is like a rose gold one and i hope this would match my skin tone because uh, i like the white one these are very cool they're like glitter in a sense, like they're literally pure glitter, but they create that wet look on the cheeks, which is really nice. And they have no color really. It's kind of translucent like this one. Obviously that one will have a pink shade, but this one is kind of clear. So it would then go with every eye look, which is kind of what I liked about it. Now I have glitter all over my leggings. Tarte's coming out with this, which I, I don't know if we need that. It's a Shape Tape Light and lifted. So if you like the shape tape concealer, this is for you. The super size. Oh, they're creating a super size shape tape. It was already so huge. And then they have like a three piece collection. So it's a shape tape contour concealer, a shape tape glow wand, and then a blending sponge. If we move on from the shape tape, I think that that's like gone now. Makeup by Mario is creating his own makeup line. It's coming out October 1st. So it's coming out October 1st. So that could be pretty interesting because he always makes pretty cool collabs. Like I believe Kim Kardashian's best eyeshadow palette was the one with Mario. And then one of like the cult fave Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes was also with him. So if he can make good collabs, he can make his own good makeup line. And I'm kind of excited for it. There's the MAC Christmas collection. Obviously they're not cruelty free, so I don't get them regardless, but this is just boring. This looks like every single MAC Christmas collection ever. It really does. NARS is coming out with these soft matte liquid lipsticks. You guys know how I feel about liquid lipsticks. And also NARS is in cruelty free. Milani's coming out with this kind of Halloween looking collection. I love both of these palettes. Um, I think they look pretty cute. The only thing is the greenish one is too dark for me. I think it's cool on someone else. And then that pinky one, I'm kind of tempted by it, but also not at the same time. So I would like to see more, more pictures of it just to see what it looks like. And then I want to see some swatches and I want to see some like extra info on it. LA Girl is coming out with these palettes, which look oddly similar to the Huda Beauty ones, like the Obsessions one she had, like the Emerald, so on and so forth. They're 9 99 each though. So that's some pretty good price tag. Wishful, like Huda's skincare line is coming out with a rose oil and I refuse to get it because I know it's going to be super fragrance just like her moisturizer. Paul and Joe's coming out with this collection. I'm just not interested in any of it. I think their makeup looks kind of gimmicky a lot of the time. I like the blush and the highlight I think is what it is like the little compacts. The lipsticks look kind of weird. I don't know I haven't found anything from Paul and Joe that I would really 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 like but I want something from them because they're so cute and the packaging is always so adorable but it's just the makeup inside that kind of turns me off. Then there's this right which is I can't pronounce the name. I'll try to find it somewhere to know how to pronounce it, but this is what the brand is called. It's on the packaging. And this is the Companion palette, which has a little dog on it, which I'm not sure whose dog this is, but whoever's dog this is, is very lucky. It's an adorable dog. The eyeshadow palettes, there's nine different shades and they're multi-chrome, duochromes, and a highlight shade one that can be also used as blush. Um, there's different finishes and textures. I mean, this looks so nice. Like this is some, I, I get that I said I didn't want an all shimmer palettes because most brands when they do an all shimmer palette or like most shimmer palette they're just all like random shimmers that they're just like oh here's shimmers because they're easier to formulate and if it's like a weird shade it's fine because it's a shimmer shade whereas like mattes have to be like a little more thought out this is amazing these are like shimmers that you don't have in any other eyeshadow palette and it could be like a nice addition to your collection i'm thinking about this i really am pat mcgrath is coming out with a christmas collection and it's like a huge palette I wonder how much she's gonna charge for that because it's not that plastic packaging, like the Lux one. It looks like cardboard packaging, which it could be because it would then be too heavy or like too expensive to make it that Lux palette packaging in that big of a format. There's also three quads, some lipsticks, a highlight, that kind of a thing. But I'm intrigued by that big eyeshadow palette because I wanna know how much it costs, not because I wanna buy it, but because I wanna know how much it costs. 
and then I'll think about if I want to buy it or not. And then Anastasia the Beverly Hills is coming out with a Christmas collection as well and one of those things is a small soft glam palette which I'm kind of intrigued by but I have a soft glam palette so I'm not gonna get it. What happens is they took the mattes, like the most popular I guess mattes from the soft glam palette and then two shimmers from the original Norvina palette and put them into a small eight pan palette. If you don't have a soft glam palette or the OG Norvina palette, this could be pretty good to try out just a few shades and see what all the fuss is about. There's a small lash brag like Christmas tree thingy and then four small lip glosses. I'm just really like intrigued by that soft glam thing. The thing is, I feel like most people have the soft glam palette. Am I wrong on that? I feel like that was like a cult favorite. Like it's kind of like a modern renaissance thing. Like if you like Anastasia Beverly Hills, you have this palette. So I guess this is for like new customers. I don't know. There's like a bunch of things coming out. So if you guys enjoyed this very long video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell. You'll be notified when all of that is happening. Social media links, main channel and any other links in the description. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.